Welcome to this beginner's tutorial on Wireshark, the world's foremost network protocol analyzer. Whether you are a network engineer, a cybersecurity analyst, or simply someone curious about how data moves across networks, this tutorial will guide you through the basics of using Wireshark. Today, we'll cover how to install Wireshark, how to capture packets, filter them, and how to analyze data to identify network issues or vulnerabilities. First things first, let's get Wireshark installed on your computer. For this tutorial, we'll use a Linux-based system, but the steps are pretty similar for macOS and Windows. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. You might need to restart your system to finish the setup. Now that we have Wireshark installed, let's get into the good stuff. Capturing packets. Open Wireshark and you'll see a list of available network interfaces. Choose the network interface that you want to monitor. For instance, if you are connected to Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi adapter and click on Start. As you can see, packets are flying by pretty quickly. It can be overwhelming. That's where packet filtering comes in handy. Here you can filter by protocol, IP addresses and more. For example, to see only HTTP packets, simply type HTTP in the filter bar and hit enter. Now let's dive into some secrets not many know. Did you know you can use Wireshark to discover hidden networks? By capturing these Wi-Fi packets and looking for probe responses, you can identify networks that are not broadcasting their SSID. Another lesser known feature is Wireshark's ability to decode encrypted protocols like HTTPS if you have access to the encryption keys. This can be extremely useful for troubleshooting secure communication issues. If you've wondered about quality of service settings, Wireshark can analyze that too. By filtering on DSCP values in IP headers, you can verify if QoS policies are applied correctly on your network. Moving on to analysis, double-clicking on a packet will give you more detailed information, broken down into different layers like Ethernet, IP, and TCP. By analyzing these layers, you can diagnose network issues, understand data flow, or even identify suspicious activities. Have you ever wanted to know what kind of devices are in your local network? With Wireshark, you can identify device types based on MAC address vendor prefixes. It's a neat little trick to see what's connected to your network without diving into the router settings. So there you have it. You now know the basics of installing Wireshark, capturing and filtering packets, some simple analysis techniques and some nifty secrets like discovering hidden networks, decrypting HTTPS and more. Thanks for watching this beginner's tutorial on Wireshark.